Hello lovelies, it's Lex and I have a speed build for you here today. It's a starter house. Uh, I wanted to do one of the modern kind of style ones that I like to do because they're a little bit easier. They're definitely cheaper and they're definitely a little bit more fun too because they're not necessarily like a classic family style house. So you can do a little bit more crazy things. Uh, so this one actually ends up being a loft house. So it's only a one bedroom, one bath, but there's a lot of space in this house and there's a lot of room left on the lot still too uh, so if you wanted to change the uh, general layout of this house out and add some more walls in and you know complete the whole top floor you definitely could do that and totally change how the house is set up completely but for my version it's just a little lofted area here that has our bedroom that's kind of what I'm working on now um, the way that I do the lofts I don't know is necessarily the way that other people do them I kind of set up like the whole upper floor with the walls and then delete flooring so that it ends up being an open space. I don't know if that's the way that you're supposed to do them, uh, but that's the way that I end up doing them. I found that that's the easiest way to do them. I do have a few of these lofted uh, starter houses in my gallery if you like the idea of it, but you don't necessarily like how this one is. It's very plain on the outside. It's just like all one color. All the windows are the same color. The door is beige. The roof is black. There really isn't anything going on at all color wise on the outside. Uh, but the reason that it's called the color pop starter loft is that once you get onto the inside, there is bright colors everywhere. Everything is a bright color uh, flooring wise. And then most of the furniture is kind of obnoxiously colored as well. I was thinking of this as being like an artist's kind of loft. Uh, or a musician something like that uh, then later on this was the first uh, house that I've done where I was able to give it the um, lot traits so I gave it some of the like artsy traits and then I gave it the one uh, where you're able to find money because if this is going to be a starter house for a single sim or a couple sim that's like an artsy couple, they're probably not going to have um, a very large amount of cash right off at the start. So that's why I went with those choices for the uh, description of the lot traits. But here I'm just going to put in our flooring. I think I end up adding a few more windows here into that back area and then into the one bathroom as well. And then we're going to start doing Doing the colorful part of this so all of the floor is cement I thought that that would be an easy way for us to save some money because the cement cost zero simoleons and they do have a pretty decent amount of different uh, crazy colors that we could go with all of the walls are also cement they're all just plain white because I figured since the furniture was gonna be kind of crazy and the flooring was gonna be kind of crazy I would go with more just totally plain white walls in this one uh, I'm trying to think so the kitchen and uh, most of the bathroom most of the furniture while it is like a slightly kind of fun color um it's all the really cheap awful furniture because that's what I always do at these starter houses just to save some cash um most of the furniture downstairs those two bar stools and then the couch end up being red uh and the way that you get your color in like I said is the floor the bathroom is probably the least colorful of all the floor in there is purple but it's hard to tell since everything else is such a bright vibrant color that it is purple upstairs I go with the really cheap single double bed it's pink and then I have have the computer upstairs as well here that one you don't really have that many options for colors so it's just black and then later on I put a couple of plants upstairs the living room area is also very basic just our TV uh, I had the couch being yellow and then I changed it to red here so that it matches our bar stools that's basically the whole living room area and then we have the one little bookshelf and then I put an easel in later on I was thinking about putting in a yoga mat and decided against it because I thought it would take up just a little bit more space than I wanted in that uh, front area I really wish that you could have the yoga mat and have it be rolled up like it is when you're in buy mode and then once your sim wants to use it that would be when it would like uncurl and lay out onto the mat I do have move objects turned on for this but it's really only for the plants outside uh, so if you put this house on the lot with the move objects cheat not turned on the only thing that should get messed up is your plants and it might move the mailbox but that's about it for this I'm just gonna do this little fountain area up front put those plants upstairs and I think I changed the floor coloring on the main floor just a little bit but thanks so much for watching this people guys have a fantastic rest of your day I hope that you uh, are able to use the lot if you do let me know down in the comments if you downloaded this and you are enjoying it with your sims but have a wonderful rest of your day guys and I will see everybody next time